Hello everyone. I'm making this video because I noticed a lot of people are um, wanting to hack Risseteer, but they're doing it the hard way. They're using Cheat Engine when, truth be told, I've already made a program called the Risseteer Save File Editor that will hack the file for you. It does almost anything you need it to do. So I just made this video to show it off. So first, I'm going to load the game. I'm going to create a file that I can just mess around with. So just gotta wait on it to go. And this program does work with any version so far. I'm this Risseteer version that I'm launching here is the latest from Steam. I try to keep up to make sure that when there's a new version of Risseteer that my program still works with it. Okay. So I'm gonna load the only file I have right now. It's a little pathetic file, of course. Basically I got about seven thousand gold, um Risseteer herself is merchant level 8, and I don't have a lot of good gear. It's, it's just a new file. And if you go to Louie, I only have Louie and, and Charm at level 15 and level 8, and they're both wearing really crappy gear. So, let's show off what this program can do. I'm going to save a copy of this to slot 2. Alright, we're going to quit the game. And now... We're going to load my Reseteer save file editor. First thing you have to do is you have to load your save.dat file. And so what you do is you hit the load save file button and then you have to browse it. The most common path is usually in your program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Reseteer. And that's obviously if you're using it from Steam. If you got it from somewhere else, whatever, you got to find it. And this is the file you want to highlight, save.dat. Just open that up. And then the second thing you want to do is now you want to choose which save slot you wish to edit. So as you can see, I made a slot in save slot 2. That's the one I want to edit, so I'm going to change this. And now, everything you need to know is all loaded here. So, first there's your gold. You can either manually increment or decrement your gold, or you can hit the max. The max gold is 2 billion in this game because uh, the program uh, Reseteer uses a... Um, a signed integer so if you went any higher you would have negative gold so I made it where you just have uh, two billion at the most and then you can also change your merchant level by either increment or decrement or you can hit max merchant level so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that so the changes have been applied but I'm gonna keep going so here's my entire inventory and here is every item in the game that's possible now if you think that's a massive list, you can also filter it by types. So let's add a sword. I'm going to add Louis's best sword, the Heaven's Blade, with a 15 modifier and 99 of them to my inventory. Add item. So you'll see it comes over here with 99 Heaven's Blades plus 15. And if you come over here and look at Louis, it says what he's wearing what level he is, how many times he's been out, and how many times he's been defeated. And once again, you can pretty much equip anything to him. Now, that doesn't mean I recommend you equip anything to him, because if you wanted to, you could equip food to him. You could equip carpet to him. You could equip a vending machine to him. How does the game react to that? I don't know. I don't want to know. Use that at your own risk. But this does work. If you want to say, let's give him a shield like a TH plus shield. I'll make it plus 15. and We'll put it on his wooden shield slot. You'll see that it comes over here, TH shield plus 15. And then it also lets you, this program also lets you edit your encyclopedia. On the left is what you have in your encyclopedia right now, and on the right is pretty much all the items possible. Once again, you can filter it if you want to add something in particular. I tried to make it easy and add buttons that do all sorts of things like add all items, stuff like that. And then last but not least is erase slot. But before I erase the slot, I'm going to apply all these changes I just made. So now we should be at level 99 with 2 billion gold, 99 heaven's blades, and Louis should be equipped with a TH shield. In fact, I'm going to increase his level to 16 as well. Okay, so I apply these changes. Before you launch the game, please close the program. You don't have to, but it acts buggy when you don't, so just do it. 
So I'm going to launch the program. Load the game. Alright, well we can already see that I have 2 billion gold right there, and I'm at merchant level 99, so that worked. Go in. Merchant 2 billion gold. Oh, come on. So, 2 billion gold, merchant level 99. Uh, pull up my inventory. There's my 99 Heaven's Blade plus 15. Now let's go look at Louis. Louis is level 16, so that's correct. And he also has his TH shield plus 15, which is also correct. So, just for some fun, let's throw on the Heaven's Blade and go to the dungeon. I'm gonna destroy these guys. Yes, Alright, enemy. Die. Yes. See, it's overpowered. It's awesome. I have to warn you, though, if you do this cheating too much, it kind of ruins the game. So I don't recommend you do it too much, obviously. But if the game is being gay and you're just trying to get one freaking item, then yeah, go ahead and use it. The program does work, and the very last thing I'm going to prove to you is that the erase slot works. So I'm going to load up my save.dat file again. I'm going to go to slot number two. Always watch what slot you're editing. Go to erase slot. Are you sure? Because if I erase the slot, it's gone. Yes. Okay. So now, when I launch Reseteer, the slot should be gone. And that should be it for this program. This program is on my site, www.bruceariggs.com. You can just go to Past Projects, and it should be listed there. But I'll also include all the links in the video, uh, below. So let's see, load game. And as you can see, slot 2 is now gone, as it worked. Okay, thank you. So, you don't have to cheat the hard way anymore. You don't need cheat engine. Just use my save editor. Alright, bye.